Welcome in everybody, we have Equators vs Pharaohs, Game 1 of the Conference Semi-Finals. Equators have made the playoffs three times in their history in four seasons. The Pharaohs knocked them out both of the other times they've been in the playoffs. So Equators are looking for a bit of revenge here. This also matches the longest that the Equators have stayed in the playoffs. This is the same round that we knocked them out in Season 1. So we'll be looking to do the same thing today, but it's going to be a bit of a tough challenge for us because the Equators are actually in our division and they went 4-2 and two against us this year, so we really struggled against them. Let's take a look at their roster. So here we can see their team makeup and pretty good all around. Uh, a few A's, yeah, about 5 A's, lots of B's and then just a few C pluses at the end. Uh, Curtis Blackburn, their best player, was picked up toward the end of the season so we haven't actually faced him yet in any of our games. And then down here Petri Roundhouse was on our team for the first half of this season. So the trader is looking to get one over on his old team, I guess. Can't say trader because I released him. But he is a pretty decent player, more of a defensive player than an offensive one. Should be fun to see him again. One more thing we're going to change before we go into this. After our couple offensive explosions in the last series, we're going to bump it up one more ego, up to 85. This is the highest I've ever been on, so hopefully it isn't too rough. Alright, here's the lineup for the game. We've got Chris Pruitt, who is tense, but should be okay with his good stats. Uh, Columbo, Bryn Young as usual, Burnside, Skinner, Matthews, Thunder, we're gonna put back at Catcher. Aromatis Estes, we will get Philip Arreyes back in for, and then... DH is going back to Trevor Rasmussen. On the mound is Baylor Giles, our ace. Play ball! Welcome to the opening game of the Conquest Semi-Final! It's time for some baseball! First two games are taking place at Sakura Hills. The next three would potentially be at Parque Jardineros the Equator Stadium in Venezuela, and then the last two potentially would be back here. Rog Carrillo. RBI zero will not affect him at the moment. Gotta say, as much as I hate the Equators, I do love their look. Popped back, Dean Thunder unable to make the play. Her ball down the line, but just foul. Rodrigo battling early. And Bryn Young with a nice diving play, throws and makes it in time. Great play from Bryn Young. Curtis Blackburn, the A-plus shortstop. Also has tough out and stimulated, hitting 438 with two home runs, three RBIs in the playoffs so far. That's only five games. Equators won their series four to one. One two here. And stays alive. Tough out. Activated now. And the contact really coming into play on that one. Low and inside. Back foot curveball and strike out number one. Harry Arbor, a great second baseman. I'm a fan of Baylor Giles, but the only thing I don't like is he's only got three pitches as a starting pitcher, so 
little bit lacking. Ray Burnside scoops it up here, and that's three outs. One, two, three, first inning. Arrows come to the plate. Chris Pruitt leading off. Pruitt hitting 231 so far in the playoffs, which explains why he's a bit tense. That's not going to help. Butch McGee with a lot of velocity. Big swing from Nicole Colombo back at the wall and it's gone! Home run and the Pharaohs take an early lead. 4-23 over the center field wall and Colombo gets her third home run of the playoffs. Ren Young hitting 500 so far, has home runs in back-to-back -back games coming into this. Two two pitch. Hit weakly to second, and that's gonna be an easy second out. Freddie Burnside comes to the plate also with a 500 average and two home runs. A lot of similarities between him and Bryn Young, also both have low pitch. Big hit, 98 power, it's back but it's not going to be deep enough. Play is made in center field by Cannon Alexander and we go to the top of the second. Pharaoh's up, 1-0. Fans doing the chicken dance. Dangerous spot and that's hit hard to right field. Will it go? No it won't. Thunder Matthews gets it on the warning track, but a scary moment there for the Pharaohs. Right across the DH. Big swing, but misses. And another big hit. Doesn't look like he got enough contact, and Matthews will gather his second fly ball of the inning. Number 36, Tanner Check. Tanner Check, the right fielder, hitting 455 so far. Anticipated the pitch, but straight to Freddie Burnside for out number three. Coming up is 567 with her Skinner, Thunder Matthews, and Dean Thunderer. A lot of thunder. Hopefully, Wither Skinner will provide the lightning before them. And he does make contact, but not looking deep enough. Another hard hit ball caught in the outfield. And Matthews takes strike one. Takes a timeout here. He is hitting 357, also with two home runs. Late on that one. And strikes out swinging. Watch McGee throwing the gas. Team Thunder are having a fantastic playoff so far. But that's going to be out number three from him. And we go top three. Pharaoh's still up 1 0. Only one hit in the game so far combined. And a Norman hitting zero hitless in the playoffs so far. Hit 
Let's hit weekly and gets past Colombo. This could be dangerous. Could be three after the misplay from the left fielder. And that is a leadoff triple. The center field, number 21, Alexander. Very poor defensive play from Nicole Colombo there. And the Pharaoh's in a bit of a pickle early. Right down the middle, but Alexander doesn't swing. This time he does, and Skinner gathers it for out number one. Now batting the left fielder, number 12, Gottfried Lange. The nine-hole hitter, Gottfried Lange. Taylor Giles locked in now, and this hitter does have fastball hitter. Giles looking to give him some breaking balls. Dangerous there. 100 mile an hour fastball down the pipe goes strike one. Strike two, 2-2 two, two pitch here. Bryn Young unable to get it. Freddie Burnside picks it up, but it's too late. And luckily the third base runner did not advance. Chance for a double play here, but the heart of the Equator's lineup up to bat now. Rog Carrillo luckily has RBI zero at the moment. Pork ball in there for strike one. Strike two swinging. And staying alive with the foul ball. Hit weakly and high. Wither Skinner in foul territory. Unable to make it. And a couple of defensive errors here. Really hurting the Pharaohs. No actual errors, but... A few failures to make plays that should have been made. But that's strike three. Out number two. Baseman, number 22, Curtis Blackburn. Equator's best player at the plate now. Baylor Giles trying to avoid any runs with runners on the corners and two outs. And Blackburn quickly in the hole 0-2. Good eye there. Fooled, and that's strike three, out three. Baylor Giles out of the jam, and the Pharaohs keep another zero on the board for the Equators. Philippa Reyes with her first at bat since coming back from Mojo Recovery. And it's a hard hit ball into the gap. It'll land, but only a single as the right fielder moves over quickly. Now Trevor Rasmussen, the DH, hitting 667. Ooh, slightly misses that one, and it goes foul. 2-1 pitch here. Ooh, bales are out there maybe. Full count, payoff pitch. And it's high, batter walked. 8 and 9 reach base to lead off this inning. Chris Pruitt looking to drive one in. And he's quickly up 2-0. Hit hard down the line, and that could bring two runs around? Just one run around. But that is an RBI double for Chris Pruitt. Great piece of hitting there, right over the bag. 
And Nicole Colombo, the home run hero for inning one. Swung hard, but foul. 1-1. One, one. One, two there, and she's not going to be able to take advantage of Big Hack. 2-2. Two, two. Fouls off and stays alive. Still zero outs here with runners on second and third. Full count now. And it's another long shot. Back over the wall and it's out! Nicole Colombo with her second home run of the day. And the Pharaoh's up 5-0. Eighth RBI of the playoffs and she is on fire. I don't know what it is, but I always tend to hit so much better with ladies. All the killer queens on the Pharaohs teams. In SMB3 and this game too. They always just pop so many home runs. Bryn Young popped out there, so Freddie Burnside comes up with one out, none on. And that's a four-pitch walk to Freddy. Good eye from him. Another Skinner comes up. One out, one on. Ooh, right where he likes it, but I was waiting for the first pitch. Hit hard, but straight into the right fielder's glove. Tanner Check makes the play. Henry Matthews, pretty good speed. A little bit weakly hit, but the Pharaohs managed to push four runs across in the inning, and we're up 5-0. The Quaders with 3-4-5 looking to come back and put some points on the board. Big strike one. Oh, hit very hard. Back in the gap. Off the wall, and that's a leadoff double. Equator's trying to answer back. The first baseman, number 10, Hemming McBenny. Hemming McBenny at the plate now, locked in. Dangerous area there on that pitch. But nothing's made of it. Strike two there in the dirt, one, two. Just fouled off there, stays alive. And battling hard here, Hemming McBenny. Good eye there, nice discipline, and it's a full count. Oh, right on the edge there, and we strike him out looking. Out number one. Taylor Giles gets back a bit of mojo as well. Where do we go here? Maybe fork ball high? And that was a poor decision, and it is off the wall again. The Equators put one on the board with an RBI double. Completely unfooled by the high fork ball. And Tanner Check, the chunky boy, comes to the plate. Hitting 417. Still just one out here. Runner on second. 
And that is past Freddie Burnside. Chris Pruitt fields, throws to home, but not in time. And an RBI single there. Quitters with two runs in the inning so far. Still just one out. And another hit there. Under Matthews Fields. But runners on first and second here with still just one out in the fourth. And Ferris might start thinking about the bullpen here. Taylor Giles has thrown 54 pitches. Does have a weak version of Workhorse. But... Yeah, a little bit of a tough situation here. We're going to give him one more chance. And can he get the double play? He cannot. But one out there, so out number two. And runners on the corners for the nine-hole hitter. So we'll see what Baylor can do. He can get out of this jam. Reyes Fields throws to first and out number three, but the Equators answer back with two runs of their own. 5-2, bottom four. Dean Thunderer. Pitcher here, Botch McGee, is tense, but they're leaving him in. On one. That's inside. Big swing from the Dean. And that should be an easy catch by the shortstop Blackburn. Hunter Hazeldean going to relieve Botch McGee here. A minus reliever with rally stopper, which is not in effect right now, but. Really good pitcher. Philip Reyes also has the worst version of easy target, which means Connor Hazeldean has maxed out accuracy right now. Hit weak and just to first. Tosses to the pitcher and Hazeldean makes the out. Swing low. Sweet chariot. 3 1. Full count here, two outs, none on. Stays alive. And that's ball four. Trevor Rasmussen with a good at bat there. Chris Pruitt, with an RBI double in his last at bat, has broken out of tents. Back to neutral mojo. Good one to hit there. And chops straight to uh, shortstop and throw into first. Out number three and a zero on the board for the Pharaohs from the Equator's dealing reliever. Another chance for the top of their lineup to put some runs on the board. Baylor Giles still looking okay, honestly. We'll leave him in a little bit longer. Hardest part with Baylor Giles is he has good stamina. But with only the three pitches, he starts getting anticipated pretty quickly. So even though he's still got stamina, like you end up having to take him out fairly early on a lot of the time. And bad news for the Pharaohs here, stimulated active on the best player of the Equators. 
So he has basically max stats everywhere. Juiced. Pumping a little bit of juice in the veins between innings. Oh, fooled way outside, but manages to get strike two. And that is a bloop single for Curtis Blackburn. Kyrie Arbor at the plate, Baylor Giles waning, and we're going to get someone else in there. Let's go to Tommy Gunn. He's got Max Clutch. Also has a slider, which I am a big fan of. Strike two. Decent speed on first. We need to be careful of a steal. And strike three. Out number two. I mean McBenny at the plate. Runner on first, two outs. Equator's really eager to get some hits. They just never stop swinging. Swinging at everything here, seriously. Except for that. And very weakly hit. Catcher gathers and throws to Skinner for the out. Arrows one inning away. Looking to put some insurance runs on the board. Big hack active. Still active. And... Messed that up. And out number one. Wow, what a pitch from Hazeldean. And the disrespect as he waves goodbye. Oh. And Young looking for, I think, her first hit of the game. Swings a junk outside. And she's going to take a minute to regather herself. Great hit. 90 power back toward the wall. And will it go? It will. Into the Japanese garden. That is the third home run for Bryn Young of the playoffs. 440 feet into the Zen garden. Mojo up for her and 6-2 lead for the Pharaohs. Pretty Burnside, 0 for 1 today with a walk. Yeah, a little bit of payback from Bryn there after Nicole Colombo, her friend, was waved at after the strikeout. Disrespect from Connor Hazeldean, and he collects a little bit of a higher ERA. Oh, good pitch to swing out there, but... Not enough contact from Freddie Burnside, and he pops it way up in the air. We're out number two. Withers, Potentially the last at bat for the Pharaohs here. Withers Skinner. Hit hard to center field. Off the wall, and that's going to be a double. Two out double for Withers Skinner. Good piece of hitting from the MVP there. And Thunder Matthews comes to the plate. Oh! Right back into the face of the Equator's pitcher. And that's an infield single as well. Man, the Pharaoh's going to town on this guy after that wave at Nicole Colombo. See you, chump. She hits two home runs. He strikes her out once. Gives a disrespect and everybody starts killing him. Home run, double, hit to the face with the comebacker, and Graham Wind coming in with falls behind and crossed up. Pretty poor pitcher here. Looks like they've kind of given up on this one. 
Oh, but unfortunately the Dean hits it straight to second base with the runners on the corners and that's out number three. Last chance here, Drake Cross at the plate. Arrows three outs away from going up 1-0 in the series. Tommy Gunn still on the mound. Two two pitch here. Fouled off. And fooled. Strike three. Now back the right field, number thirty six, Tanner Jack. Tommy Gunn fired up out there, and it's showing in his stats as well. Strike two real quick here. Third pitch, Bryn Young charging, throws, and out number two in the books. Brandon Norman with a triple and a single so far. Danger man today. And a big hack there. Ball gets away, but nobody on base. Dangerous pitch there. Cole Colombo ranging, but that's going to go out of play. 1 2. Hit low. Philip Arias dives. Throws, but it's late. And the Equators with a runner on here for Cannon Alexander, the rattled center fielder. Only has about five contact right now. And Equators not pinch hitting either. And he gets a hit. Incredible stuff from Cannon Alexander, and they're going to third. Throw not in time. Wow. Equators here with a two out rally. Tying run is on deck. Does have fastball hitter. Blue Skinner gathers throws to the pitcher and Tommy Gunn makes the play. Always a scary one with the pitcher covering, but we get it. And the Pharaohs up 1-0 in the series against division rivals Equators. Some heroic hitting from Nicole Colombo in this one. Bryn Young also with a homer. Uh, Chris Pruitt with the RBI double. And a great performance from the pitching staff as well. Giles struggling just a little bit in the fourth inning, but other than that, very solid from everybody. Nicole Colombo, your player of the game. Two home runs, four RBIs, and two runs as well. Brandon Norman, three for three with a triple for the Equators. As we go around the league here, the Buzzwings unable to come back and the Cavalry up 1-0. Mandibles, the number one seed who escaped just through game seven, uh, go down 0-1 in their series. And the Gold Coats tie it up, another division rival of ours. And here we have it, Edwin Yates takes the mound against Carter Von Wolf in game two. Yates has the surrounded trait, uh, Carter Von Wolf with elite slider. Both with the same ERA. Equators at Pharaohs, Game 2 from Sakura Hills coming up next time. I will see you there. Bye.